Hi, in this Affinity Publisher tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make global changes. So I have this simple planner and I've got uh, two pages of spreads here. So I'm just going to pick any one page and let's start out by changing the fonts here. So I'm going to select this text box here and go to select, select object and frame text. And that is going to select all of my frame text boxes. So now that they're all selected, I can go and change the font. Let's choose, let's see, be this one here. And now they are all different. Now, if the, um, if you want to change the weight, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't want to change the weight, so I'm just going to leave that alone. And then you can click away and now everything in all of their pages of your document is changed to a different font. So obviously you have to be a little bit careful with this because it is, like I said, a global change. It's a, all or nothing. Every single frame text that you select is going to be changed. So you can see there's quite a few different things that you can change here um, and select all across your entire document. So let's do another one. Let's select same. Uh, let's do fill and stroke color and that way we can change uh, all the colors. So let's maybe make all of our fonts purple. So you'll see that that changed all of the contents of the text boxes. Uh, it did not change these separate lines here. It changed this one because this is like a underscore that I typed into this box. It is not a separate stroke. These, however, were made with lines. So let's select one of these. Select, same, stroke color. And then I'm in my swatches so that I can pick my recent color. And we'll just need to make that the stroke color. And now that is purple as well. So now we have these boxes. Now, this took me a little bit to figure out. Um, I was struggling to get it to change, but then I finally hit on it. These are text frames that I put an outline on. So the outline is on the actual text box. It's not a separate box that's made from a shape. So what I need to do now is select object frame text and that selects all my frame texts again. And then I can go into my text frame and select the stroke here. And in my swatches, I can pick that purple and now all those boxes are changed as well. Now, one little cleanup thing, I'm gonna go over to this text box just by itself and get rid of the line on that so that it does not have that line. All right, so I hope that you found that useful. There's lots of different things that you can select the same of, different colors, stroke weights, blend modes, shapes, and then all of these as well. So play around with that and figure out if that can help to shortcut repurposing some of your designs into new designs quickly and easily. Thanks for watching.